Your timing is most fortuitous. It just so happens that I could use your assistance. Are you familiar with the weave? It is the raw material from which the tapestry of magic itself is woven. The great mystery, mother of all magic, watches over it. Whether a spell intends to heal, harness the elements, or call forth the undead, it pulls from the weave. That brings me to my request. I have sensed someone or something tugging at the weave. Or specifically, the necromantic magic it contains. While I cannot see all ends, there are others who see more than I do. Kavart or Stormeye can see many ends, and I believe he may know what is unwinding the threads of necromancy. I suggest you speak with a few citizens along the way and see if they've seen anyone suspicious. Oh, and uh, please, give Kavartus my regards. Make sure I get my cut. Welcome to the Moonstone Mask. What can I do you for? Now that you mention it, I have seen an increase in unfamiliar faces around here. Most of them are nice enough, but a few of them seem like they're up to something. Call it Barkeeper's Intuition. So, care for a drink? Yes, I have. Just yesterday, I overheard a couple of wizards talking about pulling threads from the weave, whatever that means. They tried to resurrect a bird, and it failed miserably. What's that called? Necromagic? Necromancy? Yeah, that's it. Anyway, they seemed surprised. That's all I've heard on that topic, Bo. Adventurers always talk when drink loses their lips. <laughs> My rumors are fresh tales from other adventurers. Countless people are interested in the secrets I sell. The Harpers are an organization that gathers and shares the most precious commodity on the Sword Coast. Information. While not a full harper myself, I do a lot of work for them, contacting talented people and pressing them to investigate some of the rumors that I hear. Talented people like you. You'll find a harper or one of their authorized representatives like me in almost all corners of the city. Taverns and inns seem to be a good starting point, as that's where drink tends to loosen the lips of adventurers. That's where you come in. You see, all those rumors might contain a nugget of truth, so we're always seeking adventurers to go forth and verify all the numerous tales we hear.
Let me think a moment. Yes. A few odd characters came in here recently. They did not seem the type to have an interest in magic. But they asked several questions about the undead. More than I'm used to anyway. I haven't heard anything about the Weave lately. But I'm reading Scholar Haldrian's dissertation on the Spell Plague. Fascinating read. Did you know that powerful magic can alter the shape of the weave? Perhaps I'll let you borrow my copy sometime. to the dragon are evil, plain and simple. They must be confronted, resisted, and destroyed. I've seen a lot of people I don't recognize lately, mostly in the alley behind me. I catch them gawking once in a while, but that's about it. it makes me uncomfortable, but it's nothing I'd go and alert the guards about. Can't say I've heard anything about the weed recently. I don't really make a habit of talking to people about such things, you know. Cult of the Dragon's a different story, though. Still sleep with one eye open after that whole series of events. seen anyone suspicious. I invited some new citizens to join us in prayer, but they had no interest. That's fine, but they were unusually rude. Say, if you have a moment, would you be interested in learning the history of the dragon gods? The weave isn't something I know much about. My power comes from my faith, and the blessings upon me from my faith. Wish I could be more help to you, adventurer. How can I help? At the dawn of time, there was a great god named Aya, who was a god of all dragon kind, and of much more. However, during the great wars between the gods and Primordials, Kyle was slain, his body split in two. But no sooner did Io's sundered corpse fall to the ground than each half rose up as a new god. Their names were Behemut and Tiamat. We worship Behemut, the lord of metallic dragons. He teaches his followers to uphold the highest ideals of honor and justice. Naturally, as his followers, we oppose his sister and eternal enemy, Tiamat, the evil queen of chromatic dragons. I am Patron Earthras, a cleric of Beowulf.
Well met, hero Neverwinter. Several of my warriors were denied provisions by a surly merchant off Protector's Road. Peculiar. I've never met a merchant who wasn't eager to make some coin. No matter, my quartermaster will be here on the morrow. There is nothing needed, for now. Elminster sent you, did he? This must be important, then. While we don't normally practice necromancy ourselves, a few of our spells do draw from that school of magic. Come to think of it, a few of our apprentices have reported odd behavior from the weave when practicing those spells. This isn't likely to be happenstance. On the subject of suspicious individuals, I rarely leave from the protector's side these days. Perhaps you should try speaking with one of the strangers yourself. There are problems within Neverwinter that must be solved. 